Good morning. Good morning. Almost good afternoon. Good morning. Good morning to each and every one of you. God bless you, Amanda, Liz, Melinda. God bless you, Wendy. Good morning. God bless you all. Amen. Listen, I just want to take just a few moments uh, just to talk with you guys. Um, <clears throat> we know that on today's date, um, the 31st of October, the world celebrates what's called Halloween. And so there's a lot of questions out there. Um, one of the things that you guys know about me is that we have to be very careful. Um, and I try to warn you guys about things that many of us are have been duped. Many of us have been deceived. Many of us have just been caught up in the traditions of man um, without really understanding where these things come from. And so, um, you know, it's important to know, uh, and the question is, Halloween, is it a trick or is it a treat? Is Halloween something that believers should celebrate? Should we text and reach out to people and put Facebook postings saying, Happy Halloween? Should we do that? When you understand the history of Halloween, you wouldn't do that. You wouldn't do that. Um, Halloween is a pagan holiday. It's a pagan holiday. It started um, in Ireland. And um, it was transformed to a night. And basically, the concept behind it is when the dead would mingle with the living. That alone should give you great pause as it relates to celebrating Halloween. Good morning, Demetria. Demetria, I'm sending your book this morning. God bless you. Thank you for your support. Um, and so when you look at what Halloween stands for, we, the people of God, should not celebrate that. We should not be buying the candy. We should not be supplying candy to children. We should not be um, dressing up or having our children to dress up. And let me go even deeper. We should not even be, what some places have done, is change the name of the holiday and to have sort of like um, a holiday liaison. Like for example, in the church, we say, oh, we don't want the kids to do trick-or-treat, so we'll do a type of trick-or-treat or type of treating for our children in the church. Listen, it is important to know that Halloween is not a treat. It is a trick. The concept behind it, again, is where the dead would mingle with the living. This is why your children or why you're, you're, you're presented to dress your children up in costumes because the costumes represents the, the dead spirit of the one that your children want to mingle with. So it doesn't matter if you dress them up as an angel. And let me go even deeper. It doesn't even matter if you dress them up as Apostle Paul. It is a holiday where the dead is mingling with the living. Jesus said, let the dead bury the dead, but you go and follow me. And it is preposterous that many of our spiritual leaders don't know this. And so we try to pacify the wishes and whims of people because it is celebrated really in the Western culture. It's celebrate, celebrated merely in this country. And so what people have done has decided since it's celebrated in this country, we cannot say no to the people. So let's give a derivative of it. Listen, I don't care if you give me full arsenic 
or a part of arsenic. It is still poison. I don't care if you give me half cooked food and half uncooked food, there's still bacteria. I don't care, and some of you should think about, would you want somebody to be half married to you? No, you wouldn't. Even the world had a song, is you is or is you ain't my baby. And even Moses says, who's on the Lord's side? Come over here. Jesus told Peter, if you love me, feed my sheep, feed my lamb. In other words, stop getting caught up with the things of this life because what Peter was doing when Jesus died, Peter decided, oh, I'm going to go back to fishing. I'm going to go back to doing the things that I know how to do. And Jesus told him, Peter, if you love me, feed my sheep. Don't get caught up with the things of this world. Listen, teach your children. There is no such thing as Santa. There is no such thing as the tooth fairy. All of these things are pointing to the things of this world and particularly mingling the dead and getting your children in trance with and, and familiar with spirits, with ghouls, with, with demons, with dragons, with all these things. And we the people of God have got to stand strong and say no to our children. Why? Because children were, were given to us on lease by God so that we might train them and nurture them and lead them in the admonition of the Lord. But what we have done is say, well, if it's good for the goose, if it's good for the world, it's good for my kids. And we have not taught our kids that, no, this is not what you're a part of. If there are certain things in the school that goes against the Jewish religion, Jewish people will stand up and say, no, it doesn't matter what the school says. But we, the people of God, we have become people that are, oh yes, and what the heck is an Easter bunny? And Easter, it's the goddess of Easter, which is the goddess of fertility. So we have in the church and outside of the church, these Easter egg hunts. Come on, people of God. It's about the resurrection of our Lord. It is important to know, and, and forgive my tone this morning, because you don't always hear this tone, but I'm saying that this is a part of our blindness. This is a part of our ignorance. This is a part of us um, fulfilling traditions and, and, and rudiments and, and, and regulations of man because we don't want to stand out. And the Bible says that you are a chosen generation a royal priesthood, a holy uh, people. He says, a peculiar people. Your holy nation, a peculiar people. Peculiar means strange. So we do stand out. We're a city that is set on a hill that cannot be hidden. We are salts in the earth. If you take salt and put it on chicken, the chicken tastes salty. If you put chicken on salt, the salt doesn't taste chickeny. No, salt dominates. Salt stands out. Light stands out. It doesn't blend with darkness. It stands out. So why would you want to have fellowship and communion? And why would you want your children to have communion? And why would you, as a child of God, go on Facebook and say, Happy Halloween? My God. And if you did that this morning... This is not condemnation, this is correction. If you did that this morning, this is not abuse, this is correction. You need to take that mess off your page. And anybody who commented on your page, thank you, you need to go back to them and apologize for you purporting demonic fellowship. Because you didn't know. Or maybe you did know, and maybe you were too weak to say anything about it. But... You need to be strong in the Lord and you need to denounce that stuff. Don't buy none of the candy. Who cares that it's on sale? And don't buy any of the paraphernalia. Don't hang nothing on your window. Take those demons off your window. Your house is supposed to be a house that magnifies 
God. It's supposed to be God's house. He bought you with a price. Therefore, you must glorify him in your body and in everything that you say and do. You must glorify him. We do not have fellowship with the dead. We don't trance into those things. For God is not the God of the dead. He's the God of the living. And so I don't care if you want to dress your kids up like Jesus. I don't care if you want to dress your kids up like Apostle Paul or some angel. Know this. Teach your children the right thing. Teach them the right thing. My God, help me, Holy Spirit. And if you sent your child to school in a costume, take a break from work and go to home, go home and get them some proper clothes and go to school and tell the teacher, please forgive me. This is against my God and I cannot do it. And if they have a problem, and if you feel really embarrassed, then you know what? Take your kid home. Take your kid home. Because too many of us, we're going along to get along. Too many of us are just immersing ourselves in the culture of this life, and we're not standing up. Okay, so you said, good morning, Pastor. I agree with you to a certain extent. I'm not saying happy Halloween to anyone. However, these are things that some people enjoy doing with their children. Okay, yes, but but understand this. Guess what? I, I saw a family one.